Hello everyone, Tom the Tank here. Um, today's video is called 37s, 47s and 57s. And the reason for that is fairly simple. There is a 37. I've had this one for many years. It's double bogey drive. I've just rewired it after watching Oil Bill repair one with a, with twin motors so I'd had my wiring all wrong so I copied the oil bill now it's perfect there's a 47 which I featured recently and now for a 57 moving around very slowly I shall stop it there there we go there's a 57 I didn't say it was a class 57 I didn't say it was a local I just said a 37 47 and 57 so there we go Andy from Hot Dog 63 that one's for you right so um, today I've had to make a monumentous decision um, regarding my scootering I now decided to stop riding my scooters um, there's a good reason for that uh, traffic etc um, etc et plus today is my 70th birthday and my wife is very concerned about me um, flying around on my scooter and having an accident and something horrible happening so I've decided to stop riding my scooters I'll probably sell it my Lambretta I'd sold or was in the process of selling to a friend but he had an accident so he can no longer uh, buy it so that is another deciding factor so I got some prezzies for my birthday here we have a gauge master uh, wheel cleaner so I'll just if I can let's hope I, everything is set right I'll show you that one working, I hope. Wrong way, doesn't matter. I feel correct there. There we go. There we go. So it's obvious what it does and how it works. It's a brass uh, brush. Uh, which simply with a holder which simply fits onto the track um, it's perfect this one is perfect for up to 060 um, I could probably do uh, my Prairie 262 but um, I may look for another one because you can add on to these it's quite clever actually you can add on to them um, for doing longer uh, locos so um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend using this to clean any wheels with traction tires. It could tear them to ribbons. Um, it's also a bit rough on your fingers. I tried it as a finger, fingernail cleaner. Only joking. Right. My next little prezzy is this. The automatic railer, I, for want of a better word. And again, I shouldn't have to explain how this works. Pop it on the track put the wagon or whatever you want to do on top let it roll onto the track and then all the wheels line up absolutely perfect great little tool that next is a new gear puller <coughs> my old one broke it was wasn't very good quality this one is excellent quality very well made I haven't used it yet but um, it's a nice set with different size uh, um, shafts for pushing out the various gears very nice little tool then yeah. so being as it's my birthday my grandkids decided to have a cake fight this morning and of course I got stuck in the middle of it so my wife always tells me I don't know my arm from my elbow at least I'm sure that's what she says sounds like it um, so I went to the arm and el elbow unit in the hospital 
and her sister <coughs> got a syringe and she sucked out some blancmange, some jelly from my left ear, um, some custard and cream topping from my right ear and uh, I said will I be okay now? She said yeah, she said you were just a trifle deaf. Okay so that's my bad gag for today. So um, I will not be uploading any video this weekend. Yippee! I hear you say I won't be here. Going back to the same place where I dislocated my arm, which was a hell spa, believe it or not. Anyway, um, going there for some long weekend of recuperation. Um, I'm now done with um, modifying locos. This 47 was my last one. I won't be doing any more conversions. Um, I have a wish list where I will um, show when I get them I'll show you the locos that I want when I get them um, it's like the high mech I wanted one for years but never really got round to um, actually getting one then as you saw or maybe not um, I bought a body shell and uh, put a Lima chassis under it and it's a great little runner now so it's up on my top shelf there somewhere hiding there we are right so um like i say i'm gonna withdraw slightly from the uh from the model railway scene um my eldest grand well my granddaughters bought me a lovely present which i shall try and show you it's this it's a 3D puzzle of the ghost ship, the Flying Dutchman. And apparently this one has LED lighting inside. Um, it's made from card and it just clips together. There's no glue. So this is going to be a project for me and my eldest granddaughter. Uh, she helps me nail together videos when I, I can't do that. So she's the, uh, the expert for that. Plus she's in university so when she has a free time we'll do this together she likes to mess around with me making models so that will be um, a project plus I want to uh, I, I really want to uh, sort out my U-boat um, it's been a long pending uh, job the speed controllers uh, there we go Darren there's my there's my HM so um yeah it's a case now of uh taking it easy um relaxing a bit more um, my last video i was coughing i still don't i don't feel so good today but never mind i got a perk up um i've asked my youngest granddaughter to get me a fire extinguisher for when we light the candles on the cake just in case the smoke alarms have got new batteries so I'm all prepared yeah so um, I'm quite sad about not being able to not not being able to I can but I'm quite sad that I won't be riding my Vespa or my Lambretta this year or again that's it done so the Vespa's up for sale Lambretta's going to be a permanent fixture in my garage so there we go um yeah i've forgot to mention i started uploading videos um in january late january of 2021 so it's just over two years since i've been uh, uploading videos and showing my trains layout etc and my conversions i've almost got 250 subscribers so not bad for me anyway um, I've lost quite a few, probably lost just as many, but never mind. Um, that's how it goes. Um, people have different priorities. Some people don't like what I do. It's fair. Um, anyway, um, I'd like to say a big thank you to all the, those of you who are subscribed, especially those who comment. I, I really appreciate the comments. Um, it, it's helpful. Um, 
in many ways I like to think that if I can help somebody or show something which is of interest to somebody then I'm happy that's for me it's what it's all about the hobby is about sharing experiences and if you people got problems to share solutions to problems um, my kit bashing is probably not to everyone's taste I understand that but my aim is to keep these old locos working to the best of my ability and uh, if it means actually the last four or five I've done they can easily be put back to their original uh, loco for example um, my this one over here my Ludmini is it was named by Eric from Railways 187 he gave it a good name Ludmini I need to put that name on the side of it actually uh, this is on a Pico 218 chassis so that can be unclipped and the 218 chassis be fitted the same with this one this is um, a UF 67001 body on a Pico chassis that again can be removed without any tools it just unclips and I can put the original Pico body, body back on my Hymec has a Lima chassis which again hasn't been altered at all I can unclip the body and put the E111 body back on without any trouble at all the 47 is a different yes I can actually I can put the original body back on that without any without any problem uh, the 37 is original so there we go that's the end of today's video again a big thank you to everyone for all your support over the last couple of years so bye now